These days, Tech Adaptica has had a lot of news coverage. Tech Adaptica, Tech Adaptica, the Toronto tech startup, developed a virtual campus on a virtual campus. Thanks to you, to our partners, and to the live virtual campus that many organizations are using right now. Everyone sees a young company that's only three months old and already on Forbes magazine, local news, and even national news. Well, although we're getting a lot of attention from the media these days, it hasn't always been easy, to say the least. Tech Adaptica's story is way more complicated than what it looks. Here's how it goes. After losing my parents at a relatively young age, I decided to immigrate to Canada to start over. I didn't speak any English at the time, therefore I couldn't find a job. So, because I spoke French, I created a French tutoring company that I called Toft, Tutor of Toronto. <sighs> that was hard work. And the only friends that I had at that time were telling me that it would never work. I used to take the bus for an hour and walk 20 minutes in the snow to tutor kids from their home. I was unprepared, unequipped, and totally out of my league. Not only this was a bad business model, but I also realized a little too late that Toft, as in Tutor of Toronto, was the name of Canada's most famous pedophile. Yes, I named my tutoring company after a major Canadian sex offender. Go recover from that. Since then, I created a second EdTech and a third, but none of them were either operationally or financially viable. Then something clicked. I realized in retrospect that all these years going to people's houses, teaching them, watching them, understanding their behavior, their routine, how they work from home, how they learn through their computer, all that helped me dig deeper into the emotional aspect of the online learner. I got interested in neuroscience, in behavioral learning, I went back to Africa and set up the virtual schools in Somalia, in Ghana, and North Africa. All that helped me think about education in a totally, totally new way. In addition, I attended the Stanford LEAD program that gave me access to an amazing community of forward thinkers from all over the world. For that, I will always be grateful. Now I realize that, in retrospect, if it wasn't for the struggle, for the failures, for the loneliness, we would have never been able to create Tech Adaptica. So don't be fooled by what you see in the media these days. Although this company is only three months old and receiving a lot of good press, it's 15 years of struggle behind it. Today, we have an amazing team behind us. Kerry Purcell, Kevin Thieu, Kwame Yamnyani, and other names that I still can't pronounce. Without them, without you, there would be no Tech Adaptica. There would be no live virtual campus there will be no new era in education. Thank you all for your support. Keep helping us reinvent education, not only for North America and Europe, but also for the world's youngest population, Africa. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please share this video as much as you can, as I'm sure it will inspire more people to follow their goal. Uh, last thing I want to leave you with is it is finally time for 21st century education to flourish. So to all the ed tech companies out there, hang in there and reach out to us if you need any help. Let's revolutionize this world. Hang in there. Bye-bye.